what was the KGB movie came out in the 80s? Was this the last movie Harold went out to see? Boris is actually ex-KGB. He fights for us now. It shows people can change, Mother. This is why I don't allow Harold to watch movies anymore. Rotting his mind with Soviet propaganda. Potential soundbite. A mother's love is very special. I've been with many single mothers, so I know firsthand how special it can be. Harold's mother's love is special, but not the kind of special love I'm looking for on a Saturday night. And neither is Harold. Potential soundbite. For some, movies are an escape from reality. For Harold, his reality is like a movie. One of those terrible indie movies. A modern TV? I'm surprised his mother allows him to watch television. He's allowed that on no later than 8pm. This looks like a screenplay. Is Harold writing a movie? I like to write erotic drama set in science fiction landscapes. Potential soundbite. With Hollywood already filled with deranged idiots, could there be room for one more? How long has Harold been playing guitar? What if I've discovered a virtuoso that looks well used? Mother says I sing like a dog, howling in agony. An empty aquarium. Pet fish, like Harold, are prisoners to their environment. Well, I can draw a great parallel to this. Harold's father was never there, so I got him a fish. This oversized cuddly toy looks like it's grown old with Harold. I bet a story about these two growing up could pull at the heartstrings. Wait, what are those stains? Kevin's been rather good to me over the years. I noticed a mural on Harold's wall. Two fish swimming away from each other. Did Harold paint this as a metaphor for the relationship with his mother? That was the first and last time Harold scribbled on his wall. Potential soundbite. Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, that guy with no ears, and now Harold Fletcher? Have I discovered a tortured artist? Harold's only view to the larger world is through this telescope. It breaks your heart, hopefully. Mold from 94 is rather slender. I couldn't help but notice the novelty crab clock. Sometimes to combat loneliness, the isolated will attribute personality to inanimate objects. Like in that Tom Hanks movie. Oh, Harold loves that clock. We sometimes use it to time the intervals between Harold being naughty. For every five minutes he's good, I don't smack him round the head. An old toy truck. Made by Harold's father, perhaps. Maybe I can trigger a painful memory. Oh, Harold never plays with that. After everything his father did for him. Potential soundbite. A poorly carved toy truck serves as a reminder of an absent father. Where sometimes life on the road means, Mommy, when's Daddy coming home? Well, that's gonna hit hard. 42-year-old man 
Still sleeping in a plastic race car bed? How pathetic. And it's just what I'm looking for. Oh, Harold loves cars and sleeping. It only made sense to combine his passions. Potential soundbite. Asleep in his race car bed. I imagine Harold dreams of driving off this road of isolation. Potential soundbite. Music can turn your ears into eyes and show you worlds your eyes wouldn't believe. Tonight at 9 on PBTV, we have the final part of Nigel Wimble's hard-hitting docuseries, How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, A Guide for the Isolated. In tonight's episode, Nigel looks at a special case where a man has been grounded to his bedroom for over 33 years. Hello, I'm Nigel Wimble. Well, Harold's always been a naughty boy. He's been quite out of hand, you know. I've only got one nice picture of him, and even in that he's pissing on the cat. In the end, I sent him to his bedroom, and the bad behaviour seemed to stop, so I've kept him up there permanently. I had a look around Harold's room to discover what he uses to cope with the boredom and loneliness from 33 years of isolation. I noticed a poster for an old children's movie. For some, movies are an escape from reality. For Harold, his reality is like a movie. A depressing TV movie, starring actors you haven't seen in 20 years. I do love getting lost in a good movie. I think Boris the KGB movie was the last time I did get lost in a movie. It was the last time Mother rewarded me for good behaviour. I remember it like yesterday. I'm a P, I'm mean, I'm an intellectual, I'm Russian, you see, I'm the homosexual. Good night, comrade, your drink's been laced. I'm gonna tie you up, pollinate your face. I want to torture you, make you scream. After all, I'm honest, the KGB. You better be there, brother, I'm breaking these. I'm a mad brother, puzzle, I'm KGB. You want to buzz with me? You can't buzz with me. To the K, to the G, to the mother, brother, B. You say you want to be it, but you're gonna die. You better say goodbye. Here comes some cyanide. Boris, please, you don't have to do this. It was just business. It was all about the honey. I'm not a traitor. I love this country. You've got to release me. You have to see. I'm country first and I'm still KGB. You are no longer KGB. You're just a super worker bee. Prison number 33. Have another broken knee. Would you like a cup of tea? That was just a joke. You see, you'll never see a cup of tea. As long as you're alive, you but coffee is available. If you like a cup of tea, would you like a sugar cube? When I finish, but you can be here, brother, cause I ate to please. I got a knife and a hammer and some anti freeze. Is it hard? To speak through your missing teeth Will you try to fly What's it take your eye If you want to leave Then take my key But I'll break your knees I'm Boris the KGB Oh behave brother I remember Boris used to say Oh behave brother Get it? Behave? It was awfully funny when mother used to tell me to behave And I'd retort Oh behave mother do you remember that, Mother? Yes, I do remember, you cheeky little shit. Then Mother would put you over a knee, but you didn't tell the man that, did you? Have you seen the version on YouTube where the movie speeds up every time Boris kills a dissident? It becomes quite dizzying. Harold and his cohabitor, an overstuffed rabbit, have been through hell together but at least had each other to ease the loneliness. Yes, Kevin is a dear friend. 
We've become rather close over these past few years and perhaps more than just friends at this stage. What do you mean by that? Well, Kevin has needs and I have needs. I'm forever sewing that towel back on. We saw this kind of thing go on in our prison episode, so I'm not entirely surprised to see it happen in here too. Whether this arrangement is mutual, we will never know. As Kevin has decided to remain quiet during the making of this documentary. Music can take you to places only your ears can see. The guitar is Harold's vessel to unseen worlds. And he is the captain. If Mother allows it, I will play you a new piece I've been working on, entitled Plastic Race Car Bed. Here we are, sitting in my car, my little plastic car, yes, here we are. Oh my car, my little plastic car, take me to the road and I sing this song. Old hot tar, not in my car, these tires are made for asphalt roads. My time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. Until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. I'm Nigel Wimble. Good night. Join us next week as Nigel investigates Jesus. Did he really have a beard? 9pm Wednesday night on PBTV. Yo, my name is Harold, I'm 40 years how old, I'm going to fall life for being naughty, not nice, but I'm a good boy, really, I just used to be silly, pissing on the cat and smoking jelly beans like crack, my life's a little strange living in a tiny cage, but you know I'm not afraid to put my lyrics to the page, I got a rabbit by my side, he's a rapper bona fide, we're gonna hit you so hard, you're gonna turn me tight, you scratch that line, it's behind the tide, what I mean to say is that rhyme surprise, if you're easily offended, well, we are too, we don't say words like baff or poo, now let me tell you about my best friend Kevin, is he a rabbit or a hare, well I just Stop caring, we've been locked in this cage more than friends at this stage. You can say we're in love, but we don't give a stuff. We got together in 86 or 87. For the actual date, you better go and ask Kevin. In rabbit years, he's about 420. Hey, I smoke him weed, but not in this country. He's got big ears, oh, he's a great listener. But you make him mad, and he'll be sure to be dissing you. So, Kevin, wake up, it's time to get ready. Show him that you're much more than just a teddy. Just give him what you got, and I know you got a lot. Plus, I think you're pretty hot the way you're eating that carrot. So, let me introduce my hot sensation. It's time for him to act to this spicy conversation. It's your turn, Kevin. Time to hit him hard. Don't be shy, you can do it. Oh, come on, Kevin, just drop it on the beat. Oh, for fuck's sake, Kevin, start rapping. Oh wait, that's right, I forgot to mention Kevin's voice to my imagination Sometimes I think I'm going crazy My mind is slow and my memory is hazy But I tell you what's to blame is the situation 33 years of this isolation Yo, I got to escape, I got a great idea So Kevin, shut up and listen here I'm gonna chuck you at the window, use you as a pillow You'll be like a crash but so I don't go spare We can steal a car if it's necessary I'll run for the woods so and we can live on berries So Kevin, are you in or are you undecided? Do you want us to hear? I saw well, I think your siren says it all, so the chance of escape is improbable. But I do have one alternative. Step aside, brother, if you want to live. Well, that was a dark rhyme, wasn't it, Kevin? I wouldn't really kill her, I was just messing. Honestly, Kevin, I would never kill her. I'd never suffocate her and throw her in a river. I love my mum, she's my only mother. I just need a pillar, she'd be easy to smother. Oh, no, wait, did I say that out loud? Can I delete this or is it safe to the crowd? Well, Kevin, I wish you'd just sung your verse. If the police see this, I'll be under a verse. A verse not a word, but it rhymes with verse. I meant to say a rest, but it came out worse. But now I'm just starting to digress. I shut up now and give it a verse. But if you like this and you're not police, and if you want more, I've got the beats. I'll contribute to a feast. I'm a nor specialist. I've been giving out my rhymes. You can find them online. <laughs> C.
see it wasn't so hard, was it, Kevin? I'll just do all the rhyming. <laughs> <laughs>